Hello guys, good day Philippines, and this is Mike Paduan. We are back to our latest weather analysis. This is for today, Tuesday to Thursday, the first day of April until uh, the third. Okay, this is the English version for you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the best educational institution here in Bicol region. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakili Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Now let's begin with our update. Uh, the Northeast Monsoon has been officially uh, terminated by Pagasa last week, Wednesday to be exact. And right now, we are now moving into the heart of the hot dry season and we are now uh, feeling the uh, increasing uh, uh, temperatures, although it's still between 32 to 34 degrees centigrade. The heat index is now up more than 40 degrees. So don't forget to drink lots of fluids, particularly water, to battle these uh, heat cramps, heat strokes, and avoid going out directly under the heat of the sun. Okay, and uh, the northeast monsoon, although it has ended last week, still a little effects uh, during the past uh, few days, during the weekend, the last weekend. But right now, it's just northeasterly wind flow affecting Batanes, Babuin Kobo Islands, and northern and eastern coastal areas of Luzon. Okay, and the rainfall has decreased, particularly as we move into the uh, dry phase of the modern Chilean oscillation. Although we still have the uh, effects of some thunderstorms, which we experienced last Friday. And uh, so far, for the next few days, it's purely hot and dry, okay? And there's still some isolated showers, particularly over Mindanao, because that's their common uh, weather conditions, climate conditions, over the southern portions of the country. So here's the uh, latest uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. Good uh, conditions across the country, as you can see here. As we uh, look at the uh, new equatorial trough, uh, no LPA is uh, developing as of this time for the next 15 days. Although the American model for the past few days uh, are depicting a uh, tropical cyclone forming east of Mindanao, but the latest one doesn't show any uh, formation. So uh, that's good news, okay? And uh, here's the uh, latest on the uh, uh, Malin Julian Oscillation. So the forecast for April 1 to April 15. We are now into the dry phase. And you can see here the wet phase moving into the uh, western edge of the West Pacific. And the Philippines is located right here. So we are into the uh, dry phase. Okay. So, uh, for the next 15 days, more hotter days ahead, okay? So, we will experience this uh, increasing uh, heat index up to 50 degrees in uh, some areas, particularly central and northern Luzon. And uh, there's still some thunderstorms, as you can see here from the latest on the uh, weather situation across the country. For the past uh, six hours, this is from windy.com, uh, Himawari 9 satellite loop. We can see here some isolated localized thunderstorms in some parts of northern and uh, central Luzon, and also over parts of Visayas, particularly the northeastern edge of Panay. Okay, Bigel region is perfectly dry no thunderstorms forming 
And for the rain forecast for the next uh, three to five days, we are going to uh, bring you the latest until April 5, Saturday. So by uh, tomorrow afternoon, April 2, we expect some thunderstorms, isolated thunderstorms across parts of Central and Northern Luzon, parts of Visayas. And on Thursday, there might be some thunderstorms across the coastal areas of Isabela because of the northeasterly wind flow. Friday afternoon, there you go. Still, the effects of the northeasterly wind flow. There's a, a kind of a shear line here that could bring some showers over the coastal areas of Isabela and northern part of northern Aurora. Okay. Sambanga Peninsula, uh, Western Samar will also experience some showers and isolated areas of Bicol region that will be on Friday, April 4, and on F Saturday, April 5, some showers will also be expected over Central and uh, the Dabao region area of Mindanao. Bicol region, Kamakilis provinces, there might be some showers. Isolated thunderstorms this coming Saturday, April 5. And this is due to the uh, local convection and still the post effects of La Nina. We are still waiting for the latest La Nina update, which will arrive next week. So watch out for my report on that. We have now Easterlies returning back on Friday and Saturday. Right now we are under calm conditions with light northeasterly surface winds for the wind forecast there you go this is the northeasterly wind flow affecting uh, Luzon and uh, Visayas for tomorrow April 2 April 3 on Thursday there is some northeasterly wind flow up to 50 kph across uh, I mean 40 kph across Batanes Bubuin Kumab Islands and the coastal areas of uh, Ilocos Norte Friday it will turn into easterlies there might be some uh, developing uh, surface stuff here, some vorticity, counterclockwise circulation near the equator on April 4, but it is, this is nothing, okay? It's not expected to uh, develop. And Saturday, more easterlies will be expected. These are light easterly winds, so we expect uh, uh, some visa conditions across the eastern sections of uh, the country and that will be on uh, Saturday April 5 now for the wave forecast uh, nothing to show you here the inland waters of our country will remain calm to very light waves while the East Philippine Sea will be around 1 to 2 meters suitable for fishing and sea travel except for the West Philippine Sea there might be some moderate to slightly rough seas over the Penatang Shoal up to uh, 2.5 or 3 meters in wave heights because of the northeasterly wind flow that will be tomorrow April 2, April 3, 4 and 5 it looks like uh, moderate waves will still persist particularly on Friday across the eastern and northern coastal waters of our country because of the uh, northeasterly wind flow up to 2.5 meters so this is not dangerous especially if you have medium-sized sea vessels okay and saturday april 5 it will return back to normal uh, up to 1.5 or 2 meters here so it's great okay when it comes to the sea waves across our country okay so we now end our update for today we will return on friday for another update from typhoon 2000 this is mike padawa saying have a great week ahead and stay safe always thank you so much for watching our channel god bless to all